Okay. I've got to point this out because it bugs me. Do you see that letter H on the Invasion of Team GR? It's the only thing on here that's got a single blue pixel that's out of place. Look at that! Look at that! What? How? I mean, I know that's part of the color of the Pokémon down below, but... Why is it up there? Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, another room. The final room. Let's go. Lots and lots of waterfalls. So many waterfalls. I don't think the water would be flowing this evenly downhill. In all honesty, because there's different distances between each of the waterfalls and yeah, but the details! I probably should not question the game logic for implosions could happen. Hi there! I'm Brooke, the leader of Team GR's Water Fortress, and I imagine you're Mint, the one famed for defying Team GR. Are you here to claim the GR water coin for me? The process is exactly the same as the other Team GR Fortress leaders. If you can beat me in a card battle, you'll win the water coin you seek. Who would have guessed there would be a card battle? There's so much water here for my adorable water Pokémon. Because of it, water Pokémon pay one less energy card to retreat here, which works in my favor as well if I stick with the same deck, but you don't have to. You can use whatever. You can use electric and grass types if you want to. <laughs> it just really cause all your the energy cards become two, two energy cards become one. Understand? If you've got it, let's fight. Nah. Are you considering using some other deck? I'll be waiting for you here. Return at your leisure. Hey, Mint! Have you come back to fight for the GR water coin? Yeah! I, I decided after eight hours I would come back and just use the deck that I was gonna use anyway. In that case, I'm ready to go. The water around here is ideal for my... I, okay, as you kind of said that before, because of it all, water Pokemon be one less energy of retreat. Just a quick reminder, shall we duel? Yes, just like the other leaders, we'll use six prize cards. And now it's time for the water stream death of doom with running water one less to retreat let's uh, go but can we go and beat the ultimate swimmer well maybe at this rate we'll see <laughs> uh, we would have been able to draw two cards in a regular game as a reminder here but no no not this game anyway um okay so we got a star you that's good news, and energy removal, that's also good news. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I should, like, try and get a Starmie going on the side, and maybe a Wigglytuff, so I'll lead with Magikarp. Jigglypuff, Staryu, and call it for the beginning. Woof! Alrighty, and seal, seal, and... I guess I'll play it. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll also focus on powering up the old star me, so yeah. And, you know, water gun of course. I'm not gonna let you do that uh, water gun a little extra power though. Oh no 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 not not so soon. No 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 bad Lapras. Bad okay. <laughs> And water gun's gonna go go, but not going to double double the 20 o. So that's a nice little stall I got there. Ooh. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna just go ahead though and set that up and get my free switch after the fish gets a knockout. And remember, I can also recover with Star Me too. So with the with Lapras not really being able to do much more than confuse, that could be a problem for her. We shall see, though. Um, uh, na, 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 na. Uh, which one? Which one? Which one? They both use three energy cards! <laughs> like when they evolve. I guess probably Seal, because it can attack them. And Star Freeze. Come on, Paralysis. Oh. <laughs> she might go for the Confusery, because it's going to be more difficult for me to get any recoveries off if she does. Uh, we'll see how things go. Oh yeah, yeah, she is going for that. But yeah, she's powering up Articuno there on the backboard. Unfortunately, Starmie did get the stars above its head, and... <laughs> anyway, this Articuno, uh, yeah, it's this version that we've seen before, so we're gonna actually tackle that bad genderless... 
this is, you know, I always say bad boy or bad girl, but, you know, the legendaries are genuineless. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, should I? I probably. Yeah, I probably should. And then I probably should. <laughs> Just cleared her field of energy. Alright, so. I guess. I should go for that star freeze again. Yeah! Yeah! 25% <laughs> chance of that happening. I was only hoping for the damage, but that's. That's a lot better than just uh, regular damage. Oh, yeah. Alright. Alright, let's go plop that on the seal. Whoops, that's right. Go plop that on the seal. Don't damage yourself. Oh, I tried. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like she's not going for the Lapras power up this time. She's pretty pleased with that Ooh Dark Star Me Game Boy exclusive card. Once during your turn before you attack, discard all cards attached to Dark Star, Dark Star Me and re remove all damage counters. But then discard it into the basics. So it's just kind of like a self-heal devolution spray, so to speak. Anyway, <laughs> and I could use a Professor Oak or a Bill or something like that. I'm kind of kind of dumped out all the cards in my hand, you know. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know it was coming. <laughs> uh, oh, might as well use that. I didn't think so. They never accept the challenge, ever. I wonder if there's something like maybe there's a bug to that, or maybe like. Because it just never seems like they do. I mean, it's still like build. Yeah. Um. Okay, so we got the Gyarados. We got the Dugong. I think I'm gonna go for the Dugong next, and maybe I will let Starmie get knocked out on its own time. Because if I knock out my own Starmie and switch to something, it's she's also automatically gonna get a free attack in. So I think I'm gonna actually save that. And especially since I don't have the energy cards at the moment to know that I'll be able to attack anyway, so... Yeah, anyway, I should get the Gyarados set up for the future, and... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. And I was, uh, cause I, if I take damage due to confusion, I'll KO myself, and that'll be kinda sad. So it's not... <laughs> Wait, what? You're gonna... Okay, so I get an extra turn. <laughs> I, I guess she's more concerned about Starmie-ing with the spinning shower? Maybe? I, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I can go Dugong, and since I got... <laughs> I can actually recover Starmie in the future if I want to now, because that was kind of a hiccup on her part, I would say. Switch to Dugong, and... Yeah, I'll just attack with Aurora Beam. Woo! KO that Lapras and get myself a fish. Articudo is a go go. Another Articudo. <laughs> Same version. Nothing. Absolutely nothing, Bill. Gimme, 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 gimme. Um. Uh, I'm still. Like, I don't want to fill up my bench if I don't know, you know? <laughs> if I don't know what's coming. Uh, I guess what I'll do... Well, how, how many energy... Okay, it's gonna take at least two turns for that Articuno. So, I could potentially Gyarados it up in two more turns, assuming I draw the energy. For now, let's just Aurora Beam, because this Articuno will be a goner soon enough. Unless she somehow has Blastoise with Rain Dance, no. <laughs> she doesn't carry that in her deck. Another Gyarados. There's always a Gyarados! <laughs> I can't stop seeing that big fish. <laughs> uh, yeah, just a roar beam. I got double plus power, so I could do 70 damage to whatever she flops out next if I want to. Uh, it's probably going to be Articunally attack. Really? What? Is she just using? Yeah, she might be just doing the thing that I was doing. You know, letting other Pokemon get knocked out to stall, basically. Which is. Good strategy, I suppose. But anyway, let's go. <laughs> Next turn. And... Mm, mm. Actually, come to think of it, maybe her not knocking out my Starmie was a good idea, because she was able to stall me from wiping out Lapras. Like, maybe the AI thought, hmm, yeah, I think... I think he's gonna go for... 
Gonna go for the bench Pokémon a little bit, so maybe I'll stall it out and wait a bit, because I predict that, perhaps, I don't know. That seems a little too advanced for this game's AI. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Well, looks like I'm not recovering this star, mate. <laughs> well, I was planning on it, but yeah, it does not much matter. And... I guess I can continue do-gonging. <laughs> I, I might as well. Um... Hmm... I guess I could do another... Another Karados. <laughs> Why not? That's a roar beam that star you first up. And it's like I got a whole bunch of stuff prepared thanks to Professor Oak and whatnot. And Trader, let's see who she puts back. The Seeking brings out the Lapras, that's a good choice, because Lapras got a lot of HP to survive my attacks of doom. Alright, so, gonna do the- oh, it managed to work! Oh no! Oh, Dugong and my Magic Carb, okay, that's- I, I, really? Can you wait, can you- do you have to choose- choose one or two? Uh... Oh, yeah, you have to choose two different Pokémon based on that wording. Yeah, I thought she was just going to choose Magikarp for both of those hits and ruin my other Gyarados. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to energy removal the Lapras and save my little fish and turn it into a big fish. And also... Wait, wait. Yeah, I didn't plus power yet. Do that for 60. Oh! Oh yeah, that's right. I screwed up. <laughs> well, well, that's okay. Well, I wasted a plus power. I got the other one on hand though. All right, let's see what's going on here. Not successful. 50/50 chance. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, I had a brain fart, but we are back on track. <laughs> I think I'm in pretty good control of the game in general anyway, so yeah, I'm just getting a little bit too comfortable and complacent with the situation to put all, everything into it, basically. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna take multiple attacks to knock out that Lapras regardless of Dugong's plus powers anyway, so I might just go for the Paralysis. Can it work? Yeah! That means I win on the next turn unless she can switch that Lapras to heal it somehow. We shall see. No! That is a win for me. <laughs> and I'll just plop it on in. And then Aurora Beam. For the victory. Water versus water. But my water is more filtered than her water. So this is where one of those wiggly tufts were hanging out in the prize cards, but I had Dukon at double Gyarados. <laughs> I think I was doing pretty well there. <laughs> just, just in general. <laughs> Your words are true. You really are one tough cookie. Booster pack! Gibby gibby mmm 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 Dark match Yes, we've seen all these. Rocket booster pack! Dark box! Okay. <laughs> and I will now happily present you with the GR Water Coin. Here you go, you've earned it. Ah, the power of Psyduck! I wonder if she's supposed to be like a reference to Misty in a way. Because, you know, Psyduck, water Pokemon user, swimmer, possibly, I don't know. I'm just kind of kind of thinking of stuff here. <laughs> oh, you already have the GR Fire Coin. Amazing! You're qualified to enter the GR Fighting Fortress now. Are you going to go? Do your best! Let's have a card battle! Remember that extra fun rule when you battle with me here. I've got a lot of water here for adorable water Pokémon. Because of it, water Pokémon pay one less card to retreat. So now we're done with the explanation, scared to do all new. Ah, oh, shucks, it's too bad. I was anxious to play. If you change your mind, please come on back. Alright, but first, it's been a little bit since I changed the coin in general, so let's go over to the Thunder Coin, and also, actually, come to think of it, maybe I should select my Fire Weed deck. It's been a while since I've used that one, too, so I'll put the Water deck, well, Water and Psychic deck back to the way it was soon enough, and 
we are out. <laughs> ah, you thought there was going to be someone waiting for us, didn't you? Didn't you? Not this time. <laughs> uh, GR Fighting Fortress. So this is where he left a coin. <laughs> I still don't get it. I still don't get it. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, Psyduck. Mop that in there. And we are a go-go. Thank you for visiting. This is Team Jira's Fighting Fortress. Wait a second, no side rooms! What's going on here? The leader of the fortress is a man named Brutus. Please continue further inside. Brutus is waiting for you. It sounds like a dog's name, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I've seen so many dogs with names Brutus, and I'm, yeah. So you've come, Mint. I've been growing impatient, waiting. I'm Brutus, the leader of Team Jira's Fighting Fortress. I'd like to fight you immediately, but I shall first test your... I shall first test your might. Meet some pupils of mine. Tony! Good day, I'm Tony. Grace! Afternoon, I'm Grace. Confront these two fighters and win. However, you'll need to find and fight them inside our labyrinth. Oh no! An actual dungeon? Impossible! <laughs> if you can defeat both pupils, I'll accept your dual challenge. If you succeed and defeat me, I'll hand over the GR fighting coin. With this coin, you may open the doors behind me. Going through that doorway will put you one step closer to GR Castle. Well, what are you waiting for? Go on and fight my two pupils. So, this maze is indeed a dungeon, but it's kind of a horrible dungeon. <laughs> it's all trial and error, and I'll show you what I mean. Go on, go on. If you don't beat both my pupils, I won't fight you. Focus your energy and win quickly. I think he's thus a slight reference to focus energy, but anyway. <laughs> so we're gonna go down this door, like that, and go out to the right. Ah! I wanted that treasure chest. I wanted... That treasure- Oh, another treasure chest! Alright. What's my booby prize? Oh. <laughs> so yeah, as you can, that's why it's trial and error, basically, because of that sort of thing, because those trapdoors and whatnot. So every time you fall down a trapdoor, wherever you are in the maze, you end up in this dungeon. I don't know how far you fall, but it certainly doesn't look like you've got padding here. So that does not seem safe whatsoever, yet somehow you seem just fine falling down here. I can't quite explain it myself either. So anyway, so now if we were to say go down this way, and we're like, okay, I see the chest, we can't get it from this side, but you see the trap door, it's still there. It's only closed again. So see? <laughs> so even if you trigger a trap door, it's just gonna close again. So not only is this all trial and error, but it's also all memorization. Here's another trap door. Uh huh, it's that sort of thing. So, what I'm gonna do with this is only focus on the other battle. Uh, like one of the battles here, and I'm not gonna- I'm not actually gonna collect anything around here. Just- just for the sake of, like, the future of, you know, like, just- just, just this, like, separate the whole la labyrinth collectathon in another sort of section. I just wanna get to a battle. I'll save that chest for later. I could've collected it, but I will save it. <laughs> By the way, uh, you might want to actually go through and get the treasure chest because there's booster packs and stuff in them. So I've been waiting for you. So good of you to finally come. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Grace. Card battles with me are only held under specific personal rules. All energy cards in your deck must be fighting type. Uh-oh. If your deck has only fighting energy cards, then let's begin! Yes. What the heck?! You're gonna get an energy in your deck that's the fighting type energy. Deck must have only fighting energy cards in it. Fix that up. Okay, okay, fine, fine. So yeah, that's why you actually gotta do Yeah, everyone wants to see the fighting energy, basically. <laughs> oh wait, actually I can't uh Oh yeah, I gotta Ooh shoot. Oh shoot, this is gonna take me hours. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so much stuff to modify. So much. Stuff to mod- actually, it's not that much to modify. Actually, you know, come to think of it, since fighting Pokémon don't use that much energy, maybe I'll try 21, and then instead go for, like, a bunch of, uh, uh, like, utility cards, I guess you could say. Um, let's see here. Uh, actually, hmm. Actually, maybe I'll just go for the Pokémon. I don't know. <laughs> hmm, I don't really think through this like I did the other deck. 
with the Magikarps and whatnot ahead of time. Hmm. Hmm. I'll go for a couple switches for surprise. Uh, and I'll just fill up with Bill. <laughs> got, got enough of them now. Um, uh, I'll think about the boss's way depending on what critters I put out there. I don't think I want to use colorless Pokemon because they're weak against fighting unless I'm using the flying types. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So, you know, do 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 all Spearow. Pidgey, etc, etc. But anyway, let's just set that up as is. I wonder if I should actually use some other critters. Um, hmm, what should I do with, in my hour of building a deck because of the requirements? This does get sort of annoying that they keep uh, making you do requirements and stuff like that throughout, but... But... <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Um, I, mean, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go increase my Machop line. Uh, I'll go with this Hitmonlee for a little versatility. Mm, mm, nah, I don't have enough Cubone or Marowak. I could go for that Onyx and this Onyx, I suppose. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll put one more Onyx in there for extra stalling power. Actually, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a better idea. Because you've seen these before. Uh, we could go and do, say, two of these, Mankey, two of these, and three Primate. Oh, that! I'm one above. Dang it, I miscounted! <laughs> uh, okay, let's drop the Hitmon Leaf. <laughs> forget it, forget it, let's <laughs> leave it as is. Okay, you're finally ready! The only energy type I like is fighting energy. You won't fight against anyone using any other types of energy cards. I hope you prepared a deck that meets that requirement. Let's fight! No. <laughs> you afraid to battle me? What a sad, sorry person you are. If you're not here to fight, get out of my sight, even though you came through the labyrinth, which obviously means I'm ready to fight. But anyway! <laughs> yes. What the heck? I... Do I? Wait, what? Whoops, what, what, what am I doing? What did I forget to do here? Did I take... Did I not take out a... Oh, I'm an idiot! <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Man, if only... If they would have let me do a duel with that, that would have been horrendous. Because I would only have the wrong type of energy. But luckily... All right, set aside four prize cards. I'll take you down. Full four stack. Let's uh, go in the ring with the cage behind her. Like that, that's how I envision it. Like a UFC fighting tournament. Ooh, nice resistance to start out with, but only one basic. So we'll see how that turns out. I got a bill. Ooh, oh, he's got a scyther. That could be bad for my bird. Uh, wait, wait, actually, hmm. Oh, that's actually, yeah, she, that's resistance to my, ooh, ooh, my resistance to my fighters. Um, now I'm gonna have to start just attacking furiously with Spiro then, and whittle down Scyther's HP, if at all possible. Please do not double colorless energy, because you're going to Swords Dance. Oh, you're not, okay. Interesting. I thought she was in a sword swords dance and then slash on the next turn with the double colorless surprise. But no. Um I'll just kinda do a peck then. If that's not her plan, I will give a little bit of love to Machop then, just to kinda be sure I'm ready then. And I think I'm gonna go plop that on there for the future and continue the pecking. How's that sound? I got a whole bevy of Macho and Machamp are coming anyway, you know, so might as well see how things roll. Uh, that Dark Macho might actually be sorta of kind of a problem because he can swap, and she can swap, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, actually, he is correct, too, because the Machop line only comes in mail. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> um. Eh. Eh. Yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> Set it up. And a peck. 
Yeah, okie dokie. I could. Oh, she seems happy. And she, oh no, oh no! <laughs> she's got the Dark Machamp. I repeat, she's got the Dark Machamp. Alright, uh, so I guess we'll also put a little bit of focus on Menki. Because the Primeape is there. And let's uh, Pekka. Just kind of whittling it down gradually. It's like, I, I got other birds if I need to. <laughs> It appears she does as well. Um, uh, do I want a Pokemon trade or something? Maybe I don't think I do. But I think I want to. Hmm. Hmm. She might go for that fling, by the way, when I knock out the Scyther ine uh, inevitably. So that's that's kind of what I'm counting on here too, and because. That's part of why I haven't been powering up Spiro. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say it's part of why I'm not powering up Spiro because Spiro's got the um, it, it's got the lowest energy of all the critters here. So uh, let's go, Primate, and uh, go ahead and knock me out. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I got I got backup. <laughs> Spiro. Oh, oh no. But no attacking or retreating, so now I can freely kind of nick away at that with Machoke, and thus I shall. Uh, another Spiro, as I said, I had another one coming, and yeah, I'll just karate shop. And remember, no retreating, by the way. So she's kind of kind of in a tough spot now. Just powering up the other Spiro, maybe to anticipate another fighting. Yeah, probably. Probably. Should I be worried about Dark Machamp wiping out my Machoke? Maybe. <laughs> hmm. 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 <laughs> um. I mean, she can just go ahead and switch with any time that she pleases anyway. Because, you know, the no retreat cost of the flying Pokemon. So I might as well submission and just let her shuffle my Machoke in, I, I guess. <laughs> there we go. If she's gonna do that, I don't know. Really? Okay. <laughs> Maybe because of the fighting resistance or something. Yeah, right, we'll see how things roll. And you know, I could also do like all sorts of colorless Pokemon as well. Or psychic Pokemon that uh, use colorless energy for their attacks. But yeah, yeah, I think it'll be okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, so anytime Machamp deals, I mean, takes damage, it will do 10 damage to the opponent's Pokemon. Well, to the Pokemon that attacked it, but anyway. Um, oh, wait, with that. Oh, that's right, I already got that. Uh, oh, that's right, I could Pokemon Trader then to build stuff up for the future. How about what we do here is set up Spiro. The Dark Fero for the future, and uh, Seismic Toss, 30 resistance, so this puts that in a little bit of a difficult spot, because she can attack my Machamp without actually getting knocked out herself. Well, she did it! <laughs> Alright, so we both get a prize card. Uh, that's just gonna kind of repeat then, isn't it? And maybe she's just trying to whittle down my team, but I am ahead in prize cards, so that could be a problem. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go seismic. <laughs> Call it a turn. Oop, there you go. And yeah, we're just kind of chewing away at her flying Pokemon now because we got such high attack power. So yeah, that's, that's gonna be 10 damage from the strikes back. I uh, get the energy still behind. Okay, here's the Dark Machamp, but why would she put Dark Mach like oh on a switch like that? That is why. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't understand this. I don't understand this. I wonder if I should go and prepare for the future here with uh, Primeape. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go plop that on there, and just as a little little thing to throw her off. Make, th make her think that I'm going to keep Machap around for the long run and then do a sneaky scoop up into Primeape for the win. 
you know, but she might actually just, I was gonna say, she might actually just force me to shuffle Machamp back to the deck, but, um, uh, why wouldn't you do, <laughs> this is another one of those examples where the, the AI just did not AI well enough, <laughs> like, why wouldn't she want to shuffle Machamp in the deck, because, um, that, that would cause me to not I mean, that would cause Machamp to not take any damage, so that, mean, that means the Pokémon Power Strikes Back would not hit Dark Machamp, and wouldn't knock it out. But, I, I, I mean, I suppose she already made the flub of switching in Dark Machamp versus... Huh, I don't know, maybe... <laughs> she put herself in a bad spot in general, like, two turns ago, so... Maybe she was just trying to do a little bit more damage before the end. <laughs> Her strength has overcome my own. Ambition Booster Pack. Hardikuno of that variety? Yeah. Other Imposter Oaks Revenge. Could be handy to use, maybe. Maybe. Flight Booster Pack! Oh man! <laughs> uh, different sort of Raichu. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon this attack does 10 damage times the number of water. Energy card, so it's a anti-water attacker, basically, but there's also Sparking Kick for its regular attack. Not, not too bad, not too bad. I love this art of Macho. <laughs> it's so flat, but that's the idea of <laughs> it. Um, got just regular 30 and a 1-2 punch, maybe it'll do 20 more, maybe it won't. It may actually be better than original Macho, actually, because it's got... You know, it doesn't have the downsides of its attacks like regular Macho does, other than the coin flip dealio. Anyway, it's got Squirtle basking in the green light of the grass. Water power! You can double, I mean, you can make the damage 30 instead of 10, so it's not double, it's triple! And yeah, there's, there's a pound, so it's the Squirtle Scyther ish. Scyther times 3! <laughs> um, Ammonite, it's very interesting artwork here, it's like all monochrome type dealio extended series also as you see by the symbol fossil guidance once during a turn before you attacking you flip a coin if you had to select one trainer card named mysterious fossil yep it's a searcher from your discard pile and put it into your hand so it's like extra mysterious fossils but the ironic thing is it takes mysterious fossils to make this ammonite so that means one is going to be on the field already, and then one has got to be in the discard pile due to something. Could be Professor O, could be a knockout, whatever. And Surfer 30. That's a, not a bad Ammonite, though. But just keep in mind that you're basically playing with three mysterious fossils at that point. Because, you know, yeah, you get what I mean, you get what I mean. Uh, extended Rattata. Scratch. Ten. <laughs> Tail up. And it may not attack, possibly, assuming the head's flip works. But benching Pokémon will nullify that, but 50 HP! You might want to consider that Rattata for its stalling properties, but not, not, not in the fighting gym. Well, I should say the fighting fort, labyrinth, whatever you want to call this place. <laughs> Uh, this is another sort of extended series artwork I really like. It's Doduo with these really, really tiny dot eyes. <laughs> uh, with any Pokémon attacks to your opponents next turn, it reduces the damage by 10. And, oh, no, no. And the peck for 20. <laughs> so it's pretty basic in that regard. There's the other seal you know and love. This <laughs> poison sting. You've got the poison possibility, but also... A Swift, which you might might want to consider that. See, it's a 1 for 20. Uh-huh. And... And... Not affected by weakness and resistance. Oh, So that's good for your beatdown slash haymakers slash speedy Swift deck, whatever you want to call it. With your basic Pokémon 1 for 20s. So, yeah. Anyway, the next one. Extended Poliwag uh, Bubbala. Does Paralysis. Pretty basics for the bubbles, uh, zuzz. Uh, this might be handy for the old fighting gym or dojo slash library. <laughs> I won't do that again. <laughs> and you can get additional damage for the quick attack. 
not that bad. You're not that bad. It, it's easier to tackle it than regular Pidgey, I would have to say. And I have one more thing for you. <gasps> the card in this chest is for your collection mint. I don't like it very much, but I'll bet it suits you just fine. Ready? We get the Doctrino promotion of level 40 -ness. It can go underground. Prevent all damage done by attacks to Dog Trio. So it's completely safe on the bench and Earthwave. Two of your opponents bench Pokemon. Attack does 10 damage to each of them. So so nothing is safe from the Dog Trio when it's your active Pokemon. But it's <laughs> Alright, an 80 HP, not too shabby. Uh, I won't lose again! Let's have another battle sometime! But obviously, not right now, she will not give me that sort of choice. And... Back to the start we go. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we fully explore the labyrinth. We'll beat the last guy, beat the bad boy right above us. Well, actually, I guess I could say behind us. And that'll probably be it for the part. 